good afternoon Malaysia if you hear me coughing that means it's June 2013 and damn you Indonesia for burning and making a lot of haze in Malaysia today I'm at the uh, SS2 uh, this is a 360 view of the place that I am in and uh, today I'll be having lunch at oh there's an ASUS here service center uh, I'll be having lunch at uh, a place called Wong Kok Cha Chan Ting Tingy must be expensive because it's aircon, it's here, look at the sign. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have it and uh, uh, await my reviews. Oh, and this is a uh, Jericho production, also known as a uh, wait a minute production. And uh, yeah, it's a very, very, very hazy day indeed. Very. And uh, this, this Wong Kok is opposite the BHP petrol station. BHP petrol station in SS2 and you can see the building there. I don't know whether you can see it or not but there is a building here that is so hazy you can only see the foot of it. And I'm coughing. I'm coughing a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, see you inside. They say that first impressions are always must be must is very important so this is the menu and uh, since coming in here I got free stuff and so I need I got a keychain uh, with depicting a teapot from the staff and also a notepad a carnation notepad I mm, haven't had carnation for a long time carnation is the condensed milk in a tin thingy so uh, quite useful strange to get such free goods at a high class restaurant so we have this this menu here and let's see what's uh, there are a few branches they are at Lao Yat Plaza if they are there that means maybe I've eaten there before Penang Johor, Perak, Lango, Melaka and Singapore so who the hell is this Wong Kok fella? Oh, Ching Wa Kim. It's an actor, is it? God knows. So, uh, what's good here? More fun with fish. The, the, price, the prices here are a bit uh, steep, around 15 ringgit. So, hopefully, the quality will be reflected in the quality of the food, will be reflected in the price. So, let's see, let's see. Uh, what do you recommend that I eat? You see what you want but one of I need Jimmy to eat the fried orphans. It's either in beef or fish. Pork? Got pork? Ah, here got pork. That's a good plus for this restaurant. Restaurants with pork is a good thing. Okay. So, which is it? It's quite a lot. Fried noodle in Hong Kong style. Fried noodles in Hong Kong style. So let's see, let's see. Uh, fried ho fun. No la, no sh. Okay. Yeah, five or six is fried ho fun with beef and ginger. And I think uh, my friend here is is ordering the fried ho fun with fish and ginger. Ten ninety. So it's uh, not that expensive. It's not like 15 bucks. So, is it the uh, filling? Yeah. It's quite filling, my friend said. Mm, no, no pork lah here. The one shredded pork is in Chi Chong Fan lah. Oh, oh, you mean that fried hot fan lah? No, oh. no, no, that one no, no pork. Okay. Hong Kong fried handmade noodles with beef. Okay, I think I'll order Hong Kong fried handmade noodle with pork fillet. 9.90 ringgit. Is it? 5.02, is there a picture? Oh yeah, there is a picture. Okay now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Okay ah? Yep. Mm, about drinks, I don't usually order drinks. Food is only... Less with, with no drinks. Oh, the drinks here are also quite expensive. Five bucks, man. What the fuck? 
Ada mai. And they have uh, they have uh, milk tea as well. Yeah. Yeah. Three forty. Yeah. Three forty is quite cheap. Oh. Is it the one that with the little lumpy lumpy things? Ah? Black black. What else is this? Stocking milk tea. <coughs> Cook is at 340. Wow. Very, very. choose I don't know which one to, to try the drinks uh, <coughs> thank you Hayes thank you Indonesia I think I have the stocking milk tea in Hong Kong style of coal 946 style or data rig so I don't know what it tastes like so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna break my taboo of not buying any drinks but since this is a free meal as usual I'm gonna do so. Cheese and ham they have toast yes yes and they have superior chill drinks uh, what's that I'm not sure uh, 946 cold <coughs> oh, the desserts, they do look nice for the toast. Mm, it's like a Ameri American style. And the snacks. And a hot plate set meal, or oh, 28 bucks. And rice and superior soup with tuna. Mm. It's 10 of tuna. What's that? What's that? Is it too filling? Ah? Fish dumpling with spicy gravy. Is it, I mean, isn't it the, the dish? The, the dish by itself is too much. Oh, okay, whatever. Lah. I mean, okay. It's too expensive. Ah. Try as you like la. I'm not paying for it. You can order a whole menu. As long as you can tap out. What's that the, the, my friend is ordering? What number is that? What, what's the 8 number? 810. 810. Oh, you prefer the teriyaki pork roll? 810. 810 is a golden fish dumpling with spicy gravy. 9.30 or yeah. For quite a lot, look. Yeah, teriyaki. Teriyaki. A one seven. Teriyaki pork roll. Eleven eighty. Doesn't look like a lot. Though. Doesn't look like a lot. Though. This one. This one. Yeah, I know, but this one you want. <coughs> Whatever. Which ever. Oh, them also very expensive. Fish dumpling with spicy gravy as well. Okay. So spicy, nine, nine and thirty cents. No putting in the mouth. No, no, no. And they have fried noodles in Hong Kong style, Gangnam style, or whatever style. They have noodle soup as well. And, uh, Hong Kong style, fried spaghetti as well, wow, Italian style. Mm -hmm. oh, the pictures are quite attractive. And uh, strangely, they put all these shiny, shiny things, which I think looks kind of like weird and not so nice. Yin yong big rice, cheese big rice, and everything else. So I'll see you when, it is, when the food comes again. Okay? See you, bye bye, Malaysia.
looks like my handmade uh, Hong Kong style fried noodles with pork filet is, has arrived and it comes with the condiments of as well the usual chili padi with uh, soy sauce and also sambal blachan which looks extremely awesome very very awesome of course it's very very dark and I don't know whether you can see it on the camera let's give it a try Somehow you can taste the prawns and stuff. How about the chilies? Is it very spicy? If this the Thai type of uh, chili padi, it won't be. And I suspect it is the Thai chili padi because it's dark green in color and they have no kick at all. Yeah, not much kick in this green chili, so most likely it's Thai. some of your mashed potatoes. It's a side dish you can order the mashed potato and I'm going to try it and see. It's alright. I think I make a better mashed potato myself. Yes, but my one has a lot of butter on A lot, but no gravy. On. So this is the handmade noodles. And the pork salad here comes with uh, green peppers, cabbage, onions, uh, chopped carrots, and I think that's about it. And uh, fried, stir fried with uh, black sauce, soy sauce, or whatever. Let's try the pork first. Is a pork fillet? It's okay. It's well seasoned and there is taste to it. Not too salty, not too spicy, not too whatever. Just fine. Nice. How about the noodles? Tastes very nice actually. Not bad. I would give this taste. This dish, this dish is not spicy, so you can add it, add the chilies and all the sambal into the food. That's al dente, the noodles, and it's, it is handmade and it is excellent and fresh. For sure, is I think this is a very good uh, meal and uh, justifies the price of nine ringgit and ninety cents. I think. But it could actually be much better into my range of five bucks or since it's so good it's around maybe but in my mind it will be seven ringgit plus but it's okay it's quite nice the noodles is uh, al dente has a lot of texture to it and a lot of uh, it's very good so i give this uh, meal i mean this dish itself four stars out of five We have another one. My friend uh, ordered the uh, what? What tan is it? What tan ho? And uh, I'm gonna try some. What tan ho is uh, flat rice noodles, which is like this, with uh, covered with sauce that's uh, thickened with uh, with eggs and stuff and starch. Most likely starch, and it's very very slimy, but tastes so good. And then it's fish. It comes with fish. What's uh, what tan ho with fish? Uh? It's fried and it's crunchy. So I haven't eaten this type of water hole for a long long time and I kind of like it because I rarely get to eat such flat rice noodles which are deep fried. So there's a al dente taste to it. Uh, although it's a bit oily but once in a while eating this type of water hole is pretty awesome. Although it's a 10 ringgit but I mean it's, I think it justifies the price. Actually, 
that's, that was not the Watanghao, it was the fish that was crunchy. So let me reiterate, the Watanghao, just now when I say it was crunchy, it was the fish. So the fish was pretty awesome because the batter was very very crunchy and that's very good. I think I'll give that, that, that new Watanghao with a... Um, fish and ginger. Oh, this one is called fried hoa fun. It's a, it's, sorry, uh, it's not Watanghao, it's called fried hoa fun with something with fish and ginger at 9 we get 90 cents. So this is 4 out of 5 stars, so give it a try. And the drinks, this one is uh, the milk tea, uh, 3 ringgit I think. It's a very big glass of something like the tea ice but it tastes very very nice very very nice so this drink is pretty awesome as well justifies the price tag of 3 ringgit and um, yeah that's about it this is Jericho and this has been a wait a minute production the food here is expensive but if you want to bring out a date on a date whatever come here and have an awesome meal so see you Malaysia and watch out for the small. Thank you Indonesia. We have a new <coughs> we have a new dish here. This is the steamed dumpling thing. fish dumpling with spicy gravy. It looks it's about 10 bucks, uh, 10 ringgit and it looks quite a lot. Especially the gravy. I want to taste the gravy and see what, what it is. The gravy tastes like the uh, gravy that you use uh, that it, uh, in conjunction with cooking of pork and beef. Is it hoisin sauce? Uh? It's not that spicy, not spicy at all, even though you can see that, yeah, let's say here, you can see the golden shin, the orange, that's the chili oil. It's not that spicy, or oh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a bit spicy now, the, the spice is hitting my, my palate. So let's try one of their dumplings, the weather is good enough. in one platter so roughly about one ringgit plus one ringgit ten cent or twenty cent mm. it tastes like a normal wonton but I don't taste the fish maybe my brain has uh, been, been thinking that all wontons are made of prawns beans or shredded prawn, prawns with uh, pork I don't feel that it, 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 it tastes Tastes like fish. This is supposed to be fish, eh? So the fish texture has been lost. Either it's my brain malfunctioning or just the fish is not strong enough in taste. Well, I'll give this dish about 3 stars out of 5. But the presentation like, looks pretty nice. Uh, the design and, and presentation. So this has been a very, very good review or very good lunch. And the sambal blushan. This, this, this shit is good shit. Very very spicy and delicious. What do you say? One. So I think I'll give this restaurant a four stars or five overall. Although the staff can actually be a bit more cheerful and enthusiastic in their work but never mind the food is awesome and stuff can be improved so this has been Jericho and this has been also known as a wait a minute production see you in Malaysia bye bye okay this is the conclusion of the food so what this uh, Hong Kong style fried noodles with pork thingy 
four stars out of five. Excellent. Very good. And we have the dumplings uh, with fish thingy, fish dumplings with spicy sauce or whatever. I think I'll give it a two stars out of five. The sauce, I don't, I don't, I didn't like it at all. It's not so nice. And the dumpling, the filling was not that fishy. It lacks taste as well. The sambal, sambal is a five star out of five. This is a normal chili oil, so it was very, very nice. This one, the chili, the green chili is not bad, it's a bit spicy, so I think it's not from Thailand. And it, you have the Hong Kong style uh, fish, fried fish uh, thingy, aka Watan Ho. That one was pretty awesome as well. That one is another 4 out of 5 stars. And that's about it. And uh, the milk tea, excellent. 4 stars out of 5. And I also ordered the mashed potatoes and that was a 1 star out of 5. I did not enjoy it. I think it's not freshly made and it's instant, instant mashed potatoes. So the price is, let's see. Hmm. Mine cost 9 90 the fried noodles with pork. And we have the uh, fried Hong Kong noodles with fish and ginger, also 9 90 then we have a dumpling, which was not that nice, 9.30 And we have the original mashed potato, 2.90, thank god its price is ok uh, Some milk tea that I had, 3.40, that was excellent, it was a very good drink And the yin yong 3.70, which my friend had, so 3.70 That was ok also, the yin yong, but not as excellent as this milk tea So all together will be 18, 18, 2, 10, 3 bucks, 4, 10, 10, 4, 4, 9, 8, 8, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 31, 33, 36, 39, 51, I think it's 51 bucks and 10 cents, 51 bucks and 10 cents. Thirty-five, thirty-nine, ten. I think should be thirty-nine, ten. So for a meal of two, for a meal for two is thirty-nine bucks and. Uh, yeah, about thirty-nine bucks and ten cents. It comes with a very very small straw. Uh, that's pretty unique. How much is it? I must have counted it wrongly, it's 43 bucks. Uh, maybe it's counting the service tax. Hey, does this include service tax? 5% uh? five, five of mine. So 5% service tax, which is strange in Malaysia. GST 6% on top of that. So you have GST, you have service charge, or whatever. So I think I was right and about, uh, yeah, roughly. So this has been a Jericho production and see you later. Bye bye. I was right. So 39 pound, 39 ringgit and 10 cents. Service charge is 10 percent, about 3 ringgit and 91 cents, 4 bucks. And that's about it. So yep. Uh, so the meal is like 21 bucks and 50 cents for one person. Well, the meal was okay, but the side dish of the dumpling was not good. The mashed potato was not good, but at least the milk tea is nice and these two were pretty awesome and the sambal is very nice. So come to this Hong Kong place and have a good meal, have the Hong Kong, Hong Kong uh, noodles, they are quite awesome. Bye bye. Thank you.